glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Hawkeyes have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. The entire state of Iowa is flooding into Kinnick Stadium. We got better than 70,000 on hand. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Sees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Illinois staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. Uh, you know, I, sometimes when you hit some of the ball, loose ball. Dumps it complete. It's the fullback over the middle. Here's an opening. He's taken down at the eight. just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. He makes it to the six-yard line. Church is the kind of guy that could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the six-yard line. the extra point a quick two play eight yard drive and it's good for seven points Davis ready to kick Waller takes it at the four and down he goes at the 30 yard line the Hawkeyes are right where they want to be early in this one, Parker. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. The last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. Well, they're already playing from behind the eight ball, but they have plenty of time to get back in this thing. He's to the 40. Brought down around the 45-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. And he is drilled at the 46. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. Brings up second and nine. 
I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Here's the halfback. And they make the stop at the 20-yard line. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. From the 20-yard line, it's second down. Let's go! Red 18! Scrambling around. And they got him. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. UT San Antonio in action in San Antonio. And for Baylor, they march down the field and get the game's first touchdown. Baylor leads it 7-0. All right, Reese, back to our game. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 31. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They're about four yards away here on second down. Bring him down at the 43. Church makes the catch for about five yards on the play, and that's good for a first down. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Level at the 39 yard line. Gaining three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Double tight, double tight. Go down, go down. 43 the bike. He's going to go for the home run. That close to being intercepted. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the 38. He scrambled and maybe picked up a yard there. Fourth down. Red 18! Red 18! 
Once and all, going deep. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. So they go to the air on fourth down when they needed a big play. And boy, do they come through. And he converts the extra point. A seven-play, 69-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Davis is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. At the 30. Brought down at the 35-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He's got an opening. Makes it out to about the 49. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. Burns off the right side. Nice run there as they work the outside. That brings him second and five. with a carry. After one, this game's still pretty close. 14-7, Hawkeye. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. complete he's got space to work and down he goes at the 39 Williams makes the tackle at the 39 yard line that makes it first and 10 Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield. Defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has again that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Brown is waiting for the snap. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Iowa is up a score. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Here we go, green and eight. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. He 
He gets rid of this one. They're going to be forced to put it away here. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Brown awaits the snap. He's at midfield. Oh, what a hit. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. So the quarterback completes the slant pattern for about a nine-yard gain. Well, the receiver does a nice job on his route. And how about the throw by the quarterback? Perfect execution. And when those two things are going well, the offense has a good chance of picking up big yards. He launches one for the end zone. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Well, Kirk, we saw this kid head to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. Now we see he's back on the sideline. That's good news. Looks like he should be able to get back in the action. Caught, and that's a first down. And he's tackled at the 29. First down. He's got it with room to run. Tackle made right around the 16-yard line. Scott on the tackle at the 16-yard line. First down. Tackle at the 20. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. About two minutes before halftime. Straight ahead on the given. There's nowhere to run. The defense was all over that draw play. And he got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. Hey, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's taken down at the 14. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Kicks away, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Iowa is up by four. He lets it go. From their own 33-yard line, second down. Wants to go long and does. Has it to the senior. And he tackles him hard at the 37-yard line. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Here we go. Complete. He's got room. And 
and he hits him hard at the 28. Iowa's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They'll get him for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up 13. Brought down at the 18-yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 18. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, folks, it's still anyone's ball game. 17-10, Hawkeye. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's David, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? I can only hope that Nessler and Herbstreet will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. And he's taken down at the 22. Wow, close game here. And up and down the field with both these offenses matching with the others. Though. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays. And you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back. And they've done that. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Iowa is up by a touchdown. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they make the stop at the 36. First and ten. Ball on their own 36. Complete brought down. Nothing doing. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Knocked out of bounds at the 45-yard line. From the 45-yard line, first down. out to about the 37 yard line that makes it second and two
Green and eight. Green and eight. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Iowa is up seven. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. throw incomplete pass there was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass that makes it second and ten from the 28 yard line it's second down here we go red 68 red 68 he's hit and taken down Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They're about four yards away here on second down. hit immediately so they complete that for about seven yards and they'll pick up a first down nice protection a good pass and even a better catch you can't ask for much more than that it was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first gives it to the back and he's taken down at about the three yard line that's good for a gain of two yards that brings up second and goal We've got second and goal. Three yards for the touchdown. Defense stacked in tight here. They'll bring him down around the three-yard line. That makes it third and goal. This is the 13th play of this drive. Iowa up seven points. Tackled right around the two-yard line. They're going to go for the easy three here. Iowa is hoping to make this a two-score game. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Davis gets set to kick this one away. Down he goes at the 31-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's under some heat. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Slides down to the ground. That makes it second and two. He's at midfield. And they push him out at the 32. What a huge run by the tailback. It's pretty obvious that this offensive line controlled the line of scrimmage that time, but did you see how this halfback eluded the defense? Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. From the 35 yard line, second down. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. Iowa's got a 10 point lead.
All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's immediately tackled. Barnes makes the set to the 26 yard line. That'll bring up third and four. That's two, that's two. That's two. That's two. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They should continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the defense will wear down very quickly. Quick throw, and down he goes at the six-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Give to the tailback, and he's tackled at the three-yard line. That brings him second and goal. down and he's going to get sacked. Well, we talked all week with these coaches and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. This should be an easy field goal. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and it's good. Haley has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Iowa is up a score. He gets sacked on the play. Calling the loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Nice yardage on that run. That's good for a gain of four yards. Third down. From their own 22-yard line. Third down. Four down, four down. 86 to man, 86 to man. Let's go. Red, 68. Red, 68. Check, check. Hammerhead. Hammerhead. Hands it to the back. Tackled after a decent pickup. You know, the offensive play calling wasn't clicking on that last drive, and their execution was lacking. Burns awaiting the return. Tackle at the 44. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over two minutes in the game. Hey, hey, hey. 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 
halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. Waller gains about five yards on the play. That brings in second and five. He scrambled. Tackle at about the 39-yard line. First down. He's on the run. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. Fires it out. Brought down around the 26 yard line. Jackson's on the tackle with the 26 yard line. That makes it first and two. Now he's scrambling. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnovers. Illinois will have one timeout remaining. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And they make the stop at the 24-yard line. Galloway with the tackle at the 24-yard line. Check, check. And he's tackled in the open field. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Scrambling around. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. will be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Late in the fourth quarter, and with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down right around the 46-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. From their own 46-yard line. It's first down. He lets it fly. We're going overtime. Well, that's the end of regulation, and this game is still unsettled. So we're going to overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. Three down, three down. 43 in the mic. Here we go. White 80. White 80. Ah! 
and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 24. Got it. And he is drilled at the 20-yard line. overtime. Now you put this thing in the hands of your defense. If they step up, you get the win. And he adds the extra point. from the 25 yard line. First down. Complete. That's a great tackle at the 16-yard line. Williams makes the tackle at the 16-yard line. That'll make it. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he tackles him hard at the two. That makes it first and goal. And he's got his receiver for the touchdown. It's a nice touchdown, but they still need the extra point to tie it up. It's a lot of pressure on a kicker. You never know about the jitters. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two. First and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. This one's going deep to the end zone. This one will fall incomplete. That makes it second and 10. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. this that I wish the offense started from the 35 or 40 yard line in overtime. I think you should have to work your way in the scoring position. 
the way it is now, you could just start to drive and you're already in field goal range. I just don't like that. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That makes it second and eight. it to the 22-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That makes it third and seven. It's third and seven. Ball on the 22-yard line. Complete. He's got room. Knocked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Throws to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. I give the game ball to the whole defense. Their performance in the first series of the second overtime was just huge. Allowing zero points in the second overtime really made things easier for their offense. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Iowa 33, Illinois 27. So that wraps things up for us. 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.